morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I am multitasking. I am introing this video while applying moisturizer post shower because I have a client call in just 30 minutes, but I woke up this morning and felt really just like unsettled, I guess, kind of stressed. So I'm like, I'm gonna hop in the shower and just take a nice hot shower and center myself and just get myself ready for the day. So that is what I did. And now I'm going to moisturize so I'm nice and like smooth and good smelling and clean. And then I will take this call and be back to my good old self. Like, you know, sometimes when you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you need to figure out what it is that you need to be you again, and then you have to do that thing like that's the hardest part of getting yourself out of a funk is figuring out what you have to do. Like whether it be just like sleep, take a nap, I don't know, cancel a meeting because you need more time to prepare for something or I don't know. You just have to figure it out and then the hardest part is like doing it and then hoping for the best, I guess. Like, yeah. And I do feel a lot better now. I'm going to brush my hair, put it in like a little slick, intentional looking bun because my call is actually it's a video call um so <laughs> i guess i can't show up like this but today's gonna be a good day i have some good productive things to do today some things that will really get me on a good path i guess i should tell you what i'm using i'm using this moisturizer my mom got me for christmas it's called body butter old whaling co shea butter and aloe and it honestly just smells like something you'd get in a really nice hotel, if that makes sense. Like, you know, in hotels, they give you little samples. It smells like that, but um, it also works really well. So I just applied my moisturizer, so my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. You guys know I use this religiously. It is one of those things where I panic when I'm getting to the end because I know I'm at the end and it's just the biggest fear of mine. So I go and get a new one every time, like before it's done because I'm that scared. So. I just got a new one from Sephora. Love it. Love that it doesn't have a fragrance because it just doesn't upset my skin. My skin is definitely going through it right now because I just traveled. And also my gut is going through it because I just traveled. Like traveling just like makes you feel so bloated and like, ugh, which is why I'm really happy that I have this amazing thing that's actually new that I've been taking ever since it came out. I have it on my top shelf. I take it every single morning. You don't have to take it with food, just like whenever you can. And it's one capsule that has three things. It has a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. So you don't have to take three separate capsules for it. You just take one and you get that gut relief. I feel like it helps with my bloating and just that sort of digestive stuff, which isn't glamorous, but it's human. Everyone experiences, well, not everyone, but a lot of people experience these things. So definitely helps to take one of these. I feel like it took a couple of weeks for me to see results, but I do feel a lot more comfortable now ever since taking these. So I just take one every single morning. And I must say they actually smell like mint. They're very minty smelling. I don't really feel like it tastes like mint necessarily, but it doesn't taste bad. It's just like a normal capsule, but the bottle, whenever I open it, I'm just like, hit with a rush of minty, fresh amazingness. So it's from Ritual, like I said, I just take one in the morning with water. Sorry, my hair's falling out of here. My hair is like heavy right now. So I just take one capsule. And just like that, I have three things in one going through my system, going to help me out. So this is from Ritual, like I said, I take Ritual Vitamins as well. So it's a brand that I trust. I actually have a code, this video is sponsored by Ritual. So definitely check out the Symbiotic from Ritual. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. You guys can actually use my code KDB20 for 20% off if you guys wanna check it out. Run, don't walk, the link in the description and check out Ritual. These will go back on my top shelf for me to take tomorrow, so. Love it, easy peasy. Now I can get on to the work and the hard stuff today. <laughs> So this team touch base I'm about to get on right now is for this fashion brand that I do some work for. I am obviously freelance, but I do social media strategy for them. So I'm using what I know, helping them connect with influencers, that sort of thing, like just using my skills, but on my own terms, which is nice. I don't have to go into their office unless I have time to. So it's really, it's a great situation. Freelance is very, it's one of those things where it's like there's a lot of power in freelance, but it also tends to get hairy if you don't know your boundaries and stuff. 
So I'm still learning my boundaries and like what I'm able to, to offer brands. Like I'm not an in-house person. I'm not going to be doing all the things that someone that is in-house would do. But so I do a couple of weekly strategy calls with them. Today is with the full team, which is always great. It's amazing seeing the inner workings of a fashion brand because I've never worked in fashion before. So this is definitely very new to me. But I've been doing this for a couple of months now. I'm now in like month three with them and it, they're a great, great team. So I'm hopping on a call with them. Also, I took off my pimple patches because I'm letting my pimples breathe. <laughs> I'm letting like my skin breathe because I wore them all last night. So I'm trying to like, I don't know, just be kind to my skin, I guess. So I take my Zoom calls from my floor. And for a while, I felt really insecure about this because I'm like, wait, I should probably have a desk just so I can take Zoom calls from the desk so people think I'm a normal human and I don't work on the floor. But in actuality, I do my best work from this floor pillow on my floor with my coffee table and sitting in front of my couch. That is where I do my best work. So normalize figuring out where you do your best work and do it there and don't feel the judgment of other people because it truly does not matter. I am excited to see what is new for this brand. They're launching a new collection for summer, which I'm gonna start helping them with strategy for, trying to plan some shoots with some models in the city and like run around Soho. It's gonna be fun. Like I love a brand that's open to me experimenting and like I do know what will do well. I do have an understanding of that. So it's nice when a brand trusts you in that way. Me spending countless hours a night on TikTok before I go to bed is research. I'm telling myself, but yeah, so I'm getting on the call. So I did this thing where I opened my granola bar. This is from 88 Acres. It's really good. It's like this seed and oat bar that I love. So I was, I opened it before the call and I didn't eat it. And then when I got on the call, I was like, okay, now I can't eat it because there's nothing weirder than eating on a Zoom call, I feel like. I don't know. It might be a hot take, but I don't know. Maybe it's not weird. Maybe I'm just like overthinking it, but I was just staring at my granola bar the whole time, like wanting to eat it. <laughs> Thank God it was like a short call. So I just like down the granola bar. You don't care. But I actually, I was watching on the call. Everyone was drinking coffee as we were talking. And I was like, wow, I really now need a coffee. And I realize I don't have any K-cups. So I have to go get some somewhere else. But it's kind of good to, you know, I need to get out. I need to get out in the fresh air outside. I don't even know if it's nice out. I haven't even like looked at the sky. got my coffee and now I'm headed home to make my to-do list and get all my stuff done today. Also, I want to say I'm wearing this jacket that I got kind of late in the season, so I'm not going to wear it too much, I guess, in this winter, but it's from Sam. Looks like a glamorous trash bag in a way, I guess, but I really like it. It's an overcast day kind of, but it definitely is still on the warmer side, which is nice, so. Okay, back in my bathroom. I... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been in the weirdest funk all day today. I have another bathroom on, I have like so many bathrooms now. Um, I've been in like the weirdest mood all day, like I guess more like later in the day. I was kind of fine this morning and then like something shifted, I don't know what, but I've been like the most like, just weird, I can't even pinpoint it, can't even like put an emotion to it, just like a weird like, spirally mood like okay i'm gonna fail everything i'm doing is a failure everything's bad everything's wrong everything's whatever so i closed my laptop and i was like i'm just going to i guess just sit here and maybe find something to watch or do something um and like go to bed early or whatever but like that was my plan and then you guys see i have makeup on so obviously my plan has changed my friend emily i posted on my instagram story that i was having a bad day my friend emily just texted me and she's like get something on we're going to get a glass of wine <laughs> so we're going to get a glass of wine I'm gonna put on some clothes I don't know what I'm gonna wear like I don't even care at this point we're going to a place near me just to like grab a glass of wine and chat because you know it's on days like today where you just like need to talk through it I guess nothing's catastrophically wrong I don't even think anything is wrong like I can't even tell so someone just turned on the sink above me but you know it'll be fine it will be all right I'm gonna get a glass of wine and sit with a friend. It's always great knowing you friends that like know when something's up and want to do something about it. It's always just, it's nice to, it's nice to see that, especially in like a busy city like New York, like knowing you have people that see you amidst the chaos is just, it's a beautiful thing, so. So I just like threw on just this outfit, some jeans, a little leather shirt, 
Maritzia sweater underneath. It's like 60 degrees, which is always a very confusing temperature, but the place we're going to is like literally right down the street. So it's another good friend move. Someone is blasting music outside. Okay. Here's hoping that a glass of wine is just what I need. Maybe an appetizer. That's what I need right now. So I'm in my workout clothes. It is a new day, a new morning. We are feeling so much better today. I'm actually heading over to the gym to meet with Jane, my trainer, and Danielle. Danielle and I are doing our group training session this morning. So we're going to sweat out all of our stress <laughs> this morning. So I'm excited. It's my first day back in the gym, like working out in a little while, actually. It's been kind of a minute since I've been in the gym. So I'm happy that we're getting back into it being on vacation and just like having so much client work, I haven't been able to go. So very excited for this me time with Danielle. It's be good. Guys, it is the most beautiful day outside. I can't get over this weather. Just like really puts a smile on your face, you know? This is the kind of weather where you just can't be sad because it's so beautiful out. I'm grabbing a coffee really quick at La Pan Cotidien and then back to work. So guys, I'm about to get my couch cleaned for the first time. I've thrown some parties. It's gotten pretty gross. I'm not gonna lie to you. We have some water stains. Anthony is on his way up to works some magic on my couch. I'm very excited. So the guy just left. I am amazed at how it looks. There was a little bit of a water stain here that you can kind of sort of still see, but it was really, I think it had hair dye in it kind of because I, I had like wet hair and I'd like rested it on the couch. So if you guys are curious about my couch, it's the Soleil couch from Article. And yeah, it looks like he like shaved it a little bit. So I need to like sweeping vacuum and eventually put a rug down in here. I don't have a rug right now because I was just kind of fed up with my previous one. It was like almost like having a dog in here because it would shed all over the place. And I don't really mind having, sorry, it's kind of a mess, but I don't really mind having just the hardwood for now, like while I figure out what I want to do. My rug is hiding behind my bed on the other side over there but I'm just really fed up with it. It was expensive, so I'm gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something, but I'm thinking of getting a rug that just doesn't have fur, if that makes sense, and lean into more um, thinner piles in terms of how thick it is, and maybe something that is a bit more dark in color. Nothing too crazy dark. I mean, just like, you know, I have too much to focus on right now to think about the rug, so it's fine without right now, but anyway, couch, very happy with it. He said I just have to let it sit for four hours without sitting on it. So right now we're um, waiting to go into a psychic because why not? Yeah. What do you guys think is going to happen with your palm read? I hope that I'm going to be told that I'm going to live a long life. That's how you look at the life With well and happy. That this is how I used to do it. It was like number of kids on the side. Oh, oh really? That's yeah. what they say. But I'm, I'm gonna like have nothing. like 18. Oh, four. <laughs> the only other person that hurt me is my twin flame, but we're both really toxic. Who's your twin mother. flame? Me? And, and then she said that I'm meeting my soulmate, the person that I'm gonna marry in four to six months. So She told me I won't meet my soulmate until 2023. She said that I should focus on my business. She's like, she predict. she's like, you, it seems like you either already have or will have your own business. She told me that I'm gonna live into my 90s, and I have a really. Wait, long she told me. Line. She told me 85 to 86. Wow, <laughs> I'm gonna outlive you. She goes, you'll have no disease, no terminal illness. Yeah, she told me that heart disease and diabetes, which I don't think is true, run in my family, but not for me. Oh well, wow. She yeah. told me I was a very strong person. She told me I have a toxic um, friendship I need to I, let go of. Oh. <laughs> no, she said that the the letter of the of like there's an S in the name. Oh, mine said J S. J and S. But who do we know? I don't know. That's toxic. Mine I don't know. also told me that I had a walla. What does that mean? Oh, oh, we like walla. emotionally a, a walla. wall set up. Yeah. I mean, Which that's kind of true. true. That's kind of true. Anyway, so that was an experience. I've always wondered about that. Yeah. We finally put that rumor to to bed. Yes. Now we're putting Colby to bed.
Wait, this also looks so good. Is this is this new like a new setup? No, it's like not. your best looks so oh, is that on me? <laughs> Adam's shooting some content with my tripod set up in the window. And, yeah, I said my bronzer looks crazy. And uh hyping me up with compliments. Does my bronzer look crazy? It kind of does. <laughs> you gotta bronze your arms too, I think. Like that's I'll give you some bronzer. Tropical like. Pamela Smash. <laughs> Adam's recording an ad. Okay. okay. You gotta fix you. It's just the neck looks fine. Kinda. <laughs> It just like it's because the brush I use is so harsh, you know. Yeah. So it's like you can see. You gotta get one of it, like these. Like I know. Fluffy. They're really cheap. I know I need to. Gosh. There was a lot going on. Thank you for fixing me. Of course. My angel. Okay, guys. So we just did some work. We just shot some content <laughs> for Instagram that we are doing. Adam's getting the content. He's really doing the most to get the I content. I am committed to the content. Adam is committed to the content. Don't ever say he wasn't committed. Micro influencer. Micro influencer in the making over here. <laughs> yeah, we just consistently use each other for content. That's just, that's our friendship now. We're just... <laughs> and, <laughs> and the people love us for it. <laughs> and the people love us for it. Wait, that just reminded me I need to put perfume on. Um, I smell bad? No, no, me, <laughs> no, no. I'm thinking of people hugging me later and I'm like, I need to put perfume on. I've been using, well, this one's empty now, but I love these Oribe perfumes. Oribe. Um, this one was my favorite. Now it's done. It's the Desert Land, but they have other ones. This is the um, Valley of Flowers, which is also really good. And I just, you know, I have been told that I smell nice. You do. I've, I've told you that multiple times. The yeah. one oil... I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I have that in my purse. It's my purse oh, oil. I can't wait to steal that. Yeah, I keep that for on the go encounters because you never know. Never, yeah. never know where you're going to end up. We're going to brunch at this place called Jungle Bird. I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey to Jungle Bird. I've never been there before. It's in Chelsea. We strategically chose it because there's this bar. Sorry, it's my tripod. There's this bar that we want to go to afterwards, which is right like near, so we don't really have to travel very far. But yeah, this is my outfit I'm wearing. My fit is courtesy of a Good American. Khloe Kardashian gets it. I love these jeans and this bodysuit fits really nicely. It really hugs all the curves. So this is the look. I'm gonna put my boots on and we're gonna hit the road. Hey guys, it's me, Adam. And Emily. And Emily. <laughs> and we're gonna tell you all about Jungle Bird. It's a beautiful restaurant in Chelsea. <laughs> 